Hello viewers, greetings to you and welcome to my channel. Please don't forget to let me know where you are watching from. Now, the depth of discharge of a battery, that is the DOD of a battery, is the amount of energy that is drawn from a battery uh, with respect to its capacity. Now, uh, choosing the depth of discharge, the DOD of a battery, is very, very important because it is an important factor when sizing uh, a battery bank because it determines the size of the battery bank. So we have uh, DODs ranging from, you know, zero to 100%. The DOD is the opposite of state of charge. There's also what we call state of charge, SOC. So if your battery is fully charged, the SOC, the state of charge of that battery is 100%. Then the DOD of that battery is 0%. Now, DOD is represented in percentage and state of charge is also represented in percentage. So if your state of charge is 50%, it means your depth of discharge, what has been drawn from the battery is 50%. If your state of charge is 30%, that is the state of charge tells you the amount of energy that is remaining in the battery. Then the DOD tells you the amount of uh, energy that has been taken out of the battery. So if your state of charge is 30%, it means your DOD is 70%. So when sizing a battery bank, uh, it is very important that you discuss this aspect with your client, just like uh, when choosing the days of autonomy, because all these factors at the end of the day determines the overall size of your battery bank. So if you are choosing your, uh, your DOD, that is the depth of discharge, you need to sit down and discuss with your client and let him know the implications. Now, if you have high DOD, that is, if your depth of discharge is high, your the amount of energy you're taking from that battery will be high. But if your depth of discharge is low, the amount of energy you will be taking out of that battery will be low. For example, if you have a 200 amp hours battery and your DOD is 80%, it means you're going to take 80% of that battery's total capacity. But if it is 30%, it means you can only take 30% off out of that uh, battery bank capacity. For, so if you have, let's say you have 200 amp hours and your DOD is uh, 30%, it means it will be, so at 30% DOD, you can only take 60 amp hours. At 80, this is for, uh 30 uh percent dod then at 80 percent dod you will be taking 160 amp hours at 80 percent dod so uh the higher the dod the higher amount of the amount of energy you can take from the battery bank and the lower the dod the lower the amount of energy you are going to take from the battery bank again if your DOD is low, the size of your battery bank will be large. If your DOD is high, the size of your battery bank uh, will be uh, small as compared to low, if you choose um, to use, make use of low DOD. But another implication is that when you deeply discharge a battery, that is if you use high DOD, let's say 50, 60, 70, 80% DOD, the lifespan of that battery will be reduced. But if the DOD is low, the lifespan of that battery will increase. So we have a chart. Whenever you're buying a battery, ask for the chart of that battery, the data sheets of that battery. Inside the data sheet of the battery, you will find a graph like this. Number of circles plotted against depth of discharge. I told you depth of discharge is represented uh, in percentage. Now we have number of circles. A circle is considered as a day. It is the time it takes for a battery to charge and to discharge. So when a battery charge and discharge, it is considered as a circle. So a circle is considered as one day. So you have number of circles against depth of discharge. Now at 20% DOD, at 20% DOD, you can see that the number of circles is 1,500. That is uh, the number of total number of circles this battery will uh, give out uh, for 1,000, it will be 1,500 
days, which is 1,500 circles. Then at 30% DOD, this battery will give about 1,300, 1,400 circles. Now at 80% DOD, you can see that the circles is about uh, 400 uh, circles or 450 circles. So the higher the DOD, the lesser the number of circles you will have. Then the lesser the DOD, the higher the number of circles you will have. So from here, you can determine the age of a battery. That is, if you buy a battery from the depth of this charge and the number of circles that you have from the battery charge, charts, you can determine how long that battery will last depending on the DOD you are going to choose. Now, there is no uh, uh, definite answer for uh, you to say this battery must be discharged at 50%, at 60%, or at 70%. Now, this is a recommendation. This chart is given to you as a guide by the manufacturer to guide you to choose the, uh, the, 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 the depth of discharge that will be suitable for your system. I may decide to choose 20%. Another system installer may decide to choose 40% or 50%, depending on you know, the choice and the decision of that person. After looking at this data, I know that if I take 50% DOD, it's about 900 circles. So if I want to know the age of this battery, I will divide 900 by 365 because we say a circle is considered as a day. So at 50% DOD, at 50% DOD, we have, uh, this is 50%, we have 900 circles divided by 365. So 900 will give us two points, uh, approximately 2.5 years. That is at 50% DOD. Now, if we look at, if we take 80% DOD, we decide to discharge this battery at 80% DOD, which is around, um, let's take 450 circles. It will be 450, 450 circles divided by 365. So 450 divided by 365 will give us 1.2, 1.2 years. Then if we decide to discharge this battery at 20% DOD, at 20% DOD, we have 1,500 circles divided by 365. This will give us uh, 4.1 you know, years. So you can now see that at low DOD, that is, if you use low DOD, that is, this is 20%, the battery will last 4.5, uh, 4 point, about 4 years. At 50% DOD, this battery will last about 2.5 years. 2.5 years, uh, that is 2.5 years. At 80% DOD, this is, this is 80%. At 80% DOD, this battery will only last for 1.2 years. But if you look at the energy, let's assume this battery bank is uh, 400 amp hours. If it is a 400 amp hours, a 400 amp hours uh, battery. If it is 400 amp hours battery at 80% DOD, this battery uh, will be uh, at 80, if you take 80% of this, you will find out that the energy you are going to take from the battery every day will be high as compared to 20%. 20% of this will be lesser than 80% of this. Now, at 80%, from this 400 amp hour battery, you have 23, you can, you will be able to take 320 amp hours. Then at, uh, 50%, you take 200 amp hours. Then at 20% DOD, you can only take 80 amp hours. So 
But if you look at the age, that is the lifespan, at 20% DOD, though you only be able to make use of 80 amp hours, but the battery lifespan will be longer than when you use the battery at 80% DOD. Mostly uh, gel, uh, AGM, and uh, uh, mostly flooded. Their uh, circle life, that is the number of circles, is always low. That is the circles as compared when you plot it against the DOD. It's low as compared to a uh, lithium battery. For lithium battery, most of them at 80%, you can have about 4,000 circles. Then 4,000 circles divided by 365, that is about 10 years. I mean, uh, 11 years, 10.9 years is about approximately 11 years. Then for some, like the 15 kilowatt hour, the 10 kilowatt hours, some of them, their circles is about 6,000 circles at 80% DOD. That is why the manufacturers of lithium batteries will tell you that the lifespan of their battery, if you, if you divide uh, 6,000 uh, circles by 365, is about 16 years. So they will tell you that at 80% DOD, that even if you discharge their battery up to 80%, uh, the battery will last for up to 16 years. But for the gel batteries and the AGM batteries, if you discharge them at 80%, some of them will just last for one, uh, about one and a half year, some two and a half year. So if you want them to last longer, it means your DOD should not be higher than 50%. Should not be. That is why it is recommended or it's advisable that when you're using uh, lead acid batteries, your DOD, your depth of discharge should not go above 50%. But you can decide to use 60, 70, 80. But it is not good for you to cross this line. For you to cross 80 from here is not good. So at least you can discharge down to 80. Uh, depending on like uh, for commercial purposes, you know, they need high amount of energy. That is why you see some companies uh, those days that are using, some of them now are using lithium batteries. But those that, you know, are still using lead acid batteries, you see them changing their batteries every six, every one year. Some, some even change six months, some one year. You see them changing their batteries. Why? Because they need high amount of energy to power, you know, you know to run maybe their ATMs for 24 hours, to run different devices for 24 hours. So you can't tell them to use 20%. It means they won't be able to take uh, uh, much energy from the battery bank. And if they want to, you know, make it at 20%, it means the battery bank will be very large. Remember, the basic function of a battery is to store and discharge energy. So they will need enough energy to power their plants. So some of them will tell you, we don't mind, discharge it at we are going to discharge it at 60%, at 70%. If the battery will last us for one year, every year we know that we are going to change the batteries. But at least we'll be having enough energy from the battery bank. So it all depends on what you want. And, you know, after looking at the chart, you take this uh, data into consideration. It will now guide you on how to choose the depth of discharge that will be suitable for your application, for your system design. But for lithium batteries, if you take even 80%, uh, that battery will last longer. There are some AGM batteries, there are some gel batteries that some clients have used for more than five years, for more than six years, but it all depends on the discharge rate. What is the depth of discharge that that person is using? Some of them, they are using it at 30% DOD. Then some homes are energy efficient. They know how to manage their energy. They know how to make use of energy. Any appliance they are not using, they will shut it down. So at the end of the day, what they are taking from the battery bank is not much. So that battery will last longer. So you also need to practice what is called energy management to manage your you know, energy efficiently.